Hello, if you have been following my channel, you probably know that I've been working on a game just like Clash of Clans. So I have made a few changes since the last video and I just wanted to share them with you. By the way, this is going to be the last video about this project and I'm gonna share the complete source code with you. Of course, I'm not gonna share the assets that I use in this showcase because they're copyright protected. I just download them from the Google for the showcase and after that, I'm just gonna delete them. But you could use your own images and uh, assets to create your game. So, uh, Let's just start by downloading the repository first. And after that, we're gonna start opening the project. First, we're gonna go to the repository which contains both client and server. And there's also the exported version of the database. And I'll put the link in the description. And we can just go ahead and download the last release. Here it is, I'm just gonna download the zip file into my desktop. Okay, now I'm gonna go and extract it. Here it is. Let's extract it here. And uh, as you might know, if you watched the previous videos, in order to run the project, we can use the Unity to open the client project and we can use Visual Studio to open the server project. And for the database, I recommend you to use XAMPP. I've already have it installed on my device. Here it is. So I'm gonna open the XAMPP control panel. And I'm gonna start the MySQL service. So let's actually go ahead and start the creation of our database first. I'm gonna go to the admin and here in the databases, I'm just gonna create a new database and I just name it clash of whatever. And I'm selecting that database, go to the import and choose the exported database file in the desktop in the file of the downloaded database and database.sql and now hit import. And you see this database now has a bunch of tables. Now let's go ahead and open the server. If you have Visual Studio installed, you can just go to the server project and just open the file with SLN format. So this is your server. And if you take a look, you'll see this is the script. Now, if you had any errors regarding your MySQL database, you can just go ahead and cite the tools, Nugget Package Manager, and install mysql.data package by Oracle. So that's gonna solve your problem. Now you could also rename your project to whatever you want. So you could do that as well and rename this one too. Now, if you go to the database here in the main data and methods, if you're using XAMPP, then this is your server IP address. This is your username and there is no password and you can set the MySQL database name and it's going to be the name that you chose for your database when you created the database. So go ahead and place the name right here. And if you have a remote database, just enter the credentials in these fields. Also in the terminal, in the connection area, there are two paths that you need to set. If you're using Mac, make sure to change these values based on your need. So that's the server. For the client, I'm gonna open Unity and then I am going to choose the client folder and I'm gonna hit open. Now that we have client project open and the server project open at the same time, you can go ahead and choose a port number. You can choose any port number that you want. It doesn't matter. As you can see here is the 5555 on the server. And now we can go to the client and here in the developers hub, real time networking settings, you can choose the IP and the port number of the server. The port number is the same one on the server and the IP is the address of your server right now. Our server is on the same computer, so we're gonna use the local IP. But when you publish your game on an online server, you should put the IP address of that server right over here. I've made a video on how to publish your game on a real server in one of the previous videos. So if you go ahead and check out the Clash of Clans playlist, you're probably gonna find that video and you can use that to publish this project on a real server. But for now, I'm just gonna test it on the local machine. So now the IP is set, the port is set, and you can go to the build setting. You'll see that we have both our scenes in the build list. You can switch to any platform as you want. And if we go to the player settings, you see that there is a version here. And if we go to the server, 
you see that in the terminals in the connection region there is a client version here as well here you can determine which versions of the client are allowed to connect to the server and now if I run the server project and let's allow access now if I go to my client and if I go to the scenes a start scene and let's go ahead and change the resolution to 9020 and 1080 and if I play this you see that it's gonna open up as you can see I've used a bunch of public domain assets these are the free assets that I could find on the internet but I'm sure it's gonna be very easy for you to change these images and replace it with your own assets so as you can see here I have made this game look a lot better just by putting a bunch of images that I got from Google and replace it so this game that you see here and this game are exactly the same thing everything is the same except the images I used for buildings and UI and stuff like that the only different thing is the sprites that I used and obviously the only reason I couldn't share this sprites and this version of the project is because all these images that I got from Google are copyright protected so I can share that with you but this is or not copyright protected most of these images that you see are public domain so they don't have a license so enjoy the source code it's yours for free obviously it has a lot of work and it is still far away from becoming a publishable project so I just wanted to finish the Clash of Clans series so I'm not gonna follow this path anymore of course I'll try to answer any questions that you have but please make sure when you ask a question explain any error or problem you have in details and avoid asking questions like my project doesn't work or it doesn't run for me and stuff like that because it's a project that it took me months to develop it's thousands of lines of code and I need you to be specific about your problems otherwise I won't be able to help you you can contact me in discord or send me an email now about a server I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to purchase a server so when it comes to server you don't need a server with GPU so don't pay extra to buy a server that has GPU this project does not need graphical card at all and it doesn't need that much of a hard drive so you don't need to pay for a lot of space on your server RAM is a little bit important is not that important though so I think 4 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM is pretty much uh, handles everything there are two factors that are very important the first one is CPU and the second one is internet connection so the better the CPU obviously the faster your server and the processes that it runs is so CPU is something that worth considering and the other thing when you want to buy a server make sure your server has a good internet connection and 10 gigabytes port is a lot better so latency and low ping is very important make sure you purchase your server from a good service provider because a lot of these service providers will give you a good server at the start but after a while their server speed is gonna start dropping so there's a lot of bad people out there that's what I'm trying to say make sure you buy your service from someone trustworthy so I hope you enjoyed this video series I hope this project helps you thank you for being with me so far and make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel good luck and thanks for watching